Abdul Bashir is giving us more details in that story as far as the state is concerned. Abdul, it does appear advantage Bharatiya Janta Party that they've stitched together in the alliance and it seems to be, uh, in fact, uh, it, it appears as if there is, in fact, trouble there brewing for Jagan Mohan Reddy. If you simply go by the exit poll numbers, of course, the real data, the real numbers will only be out tomorrow. Well, absolutely. The whole election tussle is set to end tomorrow with the results being out with the counting. Uh, for the whole country, mainly Andhra Pradesh, where Andhra Pradesh had uh, gone to polls for the Lok Sabha and also the Assembly, uh, 175 seats for the Assembly. Earlier, uh, via Jagan Mohan Reddy, who had got 151 uh, for the YSRCP party and uh, came to power in the state of Andhra Pradesh this time, uh, it seems disappointing for him after the exit polls uh, are out. Mainly, uh, Access My India exit poll had predicted uh, why, uh, why is Jagan Mohan ready to get around more than uh, uh, roughly 50 seats and less than 77? That is the majority where 88 is the magic figure that is needed, wherein a Telugu Desam party, a single uh, largest party, you know, evolving as a single largest party with 87 uh, seats expected uh, and with uh, the ND alliance can go on till 120 is what uh, the My Access India today had uh, predicted. Now, these numbers clearly say that there is a trouble mounting for YSRCP tomorrow, that the results will be out. However, the, the, both the parties, uh, you know, uh, the TDP, Janasena, BJP, led ND alliance is confident of uh, winning uh, with the majority numbers, uh, wherein YSRCP also uh, is, uh, you know, uh, claiming that they will get a number more than what they have uh, got in 2019. That is 151 seats from the 175 and the number is expected more is what why Jagan Mohan Reddy had to say. But tomorrow is the day where all, uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, facts will be revealed, all the Absolutely. voting, uh, the, the counts, uh, the, the counting will be mm -hmm. held. And uh, as to where, which party stands where will be revealed tomorrow, where uh, will Jagan Mohan Reddy get back to power or will it be the TDP defeating YSRCP? after a long of five years battle is what is to be seen. All right, Abdul, thanking you for the moment for telling us about that and getting us those details. What it appears is that the NDA is poised to wrest Andhra Pradesh from Jagan Mohan Reddy's ruling YSRCP, according to the India Today Access My India exit poll. The survey predicts that the NDA comprising of the BJP, the TDP and the Janasena party could secure 98 to 120 of the 175 assembly seats. Here is an excerpt from the exit polls from India Today's Double Engine. Let's go and look at what Andhra Pradesh says. Remember, we've already given you a sense, a teaser with what happened, what could happen in the Lok Sabha election in Andhra Pradesh, where we had predicted that it would be Chandrababu Naidu's Mahakutumi, Chandrababu Naidu, BJP, and Janasena with the lead. But what about the assembly of Andhra Pradesh? 175 seats here on offer. First, let's take a look at vote share in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Remember, it's always tight here. 44% to the YSRCP of incumbent Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy. 42% for TDP. But, and this is the big but, the BJP pulls in 2%. And then the Janasena, which has been dominant in the Kapu areas of East Kodavri, West Kodavri, Coastal Andhra, is pulling in 7%. You add that... And that becomes 51%. The Congress, which fought this election on it on their own, in fact, put out put up Y Sharmila, uh, the sister of Jagan Mohan Reddy in Kadappa, as 2%, the state Congress president, others three. Two plus seven plus forty-two makes it fifty-one playing forty-four. Is that the game changer? Has the Mahakutumi and Alliance politics meant that Jagan Mohan Reddy, even with forty-four percent, is on the back foot? Let's take a look then at the numbers as they stack up for the assembly of Andhra Pradesh. And take a look at how it's panning out. 78 to 96 for the TDP, 55 to 77 for the YSRCP. Remember, the halfway mark here is 88. So you've got a situation where the TDP is clearly party number one, then 16 to 18 for the Janasena, and that's become a bit of a game changer. Pavan Kalyan's party, actor, politician, is pulling those uh, seats, four to six for BJP, zero to two for Congress. It's alliance politics stupid, is the message from Andhra Pradesh. 98 to 120 for the NDA. Chandrababu Naidu, BJP, Janasena are pulling in their votes. There has been vote transfer from each to the other. 
55 to 77 for the YSRCP, 0 to 2 for the India Alliance. So clearly, Rahul, what happened here is that if it had been head-on just Jagan Mohan versus Chandra Babu, it would have been as tight as it has been in 2014 in particular, 2019, while Jagan Mohan got most of the seats in both shares, they were very close to each other. But getting in Pawan Kalyan, a little bit of the BJP, but particularly Pawan Kalyan, because this is a concentrated vote in, uh, in the coastal area, has pulled them up. And I think that's made the difference. Maybe T.S. Sudhir, who knows the area better. Are you surprised with these numbers, T.S.? Well, uh, on the ground, uh, I wouldn't say that there was a wave and the numbers seem to indicate that. It's not a runaway verdict for the alliance, for the BJP, TDP and Janasena alliance. If these numbers hold, what it shows is that the transfer of votes, which was a major concern for the three parties, has taken place. That the Janasena and the TDP have managed to transfer their votes to the BJP. Uh, and that's a major thing if that really happens. For the YCP, it was really banking on the pro, do, the dole-centric governance that it delivered in the last five years. Now, does it show that that has not worked on the ground? Uh, I think the verdict is out on that because uh, Andhra Pradesh Rajdeep has always been a Naxal area in the past. And I was always saying that the PWG could actually help the YCP. And by PWG, I mean the pensioners, the women and the Grameen vote. Now, yeah. whether that is not going to work, as for He's still BP getting 44% of the vote. Which is but still 6 to 7% down from last time. Yeah, it is down from last time. But what's happened, Rahul Verma, is when you have an alliance of this kind pulling its weight, and as uh, Sudhir said, possibly transferring its vote to each other, that becomes the big difference between victory and defeat. Sure. But in last 25 years of Andhra politics, even when it was undivided Andhra Pradesh, TDP has never won election alone. On its own. It always needed an alliance to win election and this time getting that alliance was very, very important because it brings two important communities of, of Andhra politics. Reddies are much more likely to side with YSRCP. Kamas and Kapu coming together, one makes a very formidable social coalition. And the reason why BJP was hesitant in choosing TDP and, uh, uh, for a long period of time uh, and it made decision at the last moment because things actually started changing after the arrest of uh, 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 Chandra Babu Naidu. Ashwarya is getting us more details on that story. Ashwarya, you were telling us previously that BJP has been confident uh, in the state of Odisha no matter what is being said. But give us an inside track of what really is brewing. As far as these numbers are concerned, it does appear that isn't going to be a cakewalk for the BJD here, isn't it? First, Nair, let me tell you, it definitely yes. will not be a cakewalk. And this actually is a case of friendship turning into foes because we have seen how, you know, both the parties, the BJD and the BGP used to fight together. They were allies from the year 1998 till the year 2009. And since 2009, we have seen how the BJP has been trying to make sure that they get Odisha in their kitty. And that's what the BJP at the moment is very, very confident of. They, in fact, believe when the numbers will come, it will shock everyone. It will surprise everyone. The BJP, in fact, is preparing for a chief minister in the state of Orissa. It is no cakewalk, but we are also seeing how Naveen Patnaik is holding on to his turf and saying that on the 9th, it will be he who will be taking the oath once again as the chief minister of the state of Orissa. He has the backing of the women voters, but women voters have also been voting for Prime Minister Narendra Modi over the past one decade. So we're, we are seeing a very clear fight taking place between the BJD and the BJP. But let me tell you, the BJPs, they are very, very confident. It is they who are making the state government in the state of Orissa this time. All right, I'm going to thank you for the moment for getting us those details. Ashwarya, putting that story into perspective. Now, India Today, Access My India is a poll has predicted that BJP might win 18 to 20 seats in Odisha and the Lok Sabha elections. Remember, Odisha has, in fact, gone into assembly elections. But here are the details of the Lok Sabha elections. The BJD could just win about two seats or so, in the best case scenario. Here is an excerpt from India Today's Double Engine. On your screen right now, the numbers from Odisha. Are you ready for a shock? If you are, here it is. India Today and Access My India are predicting that in the coastal state of Orissa, the BJP's vote share could be a whopping 51%. The BJD could come down to 33 And if that is the case, it translates into one-way waves in 
uh, the way of Bengal because then the BJP, which did well in the last Lok Sabha elections but fell well short of the BJD, the BJP emerges as far and away the number one party in Odisha. So really, the big story here is what's happened in the peninsula, especially in the Bay of Bengal, from West Bengal, Odisha, uh, come down even to Andhra Pradesh. 18 to 20 seats for the Bharatiya Janta Party, the BJD only between 0 and 2, the Congress between 0 and 1. Are you sure that this is how dramatic Pradeep Gupta this is likely to be? Because this would be hitting it out of the park or scoring goal after goal in the Kalang Kalinga Hockey Stadium. Nee, that's right, uh, Rahul. In fact, that 0 to 1 of Congress, which is the Koraput seat, which is, I can say, ki, thik hai, Congress jeet sakti hai. But otherwise, even Aska, the second seat is Aska, where uh, the Naveen Patnaik is coming from. Wo ek seat hai jo TDP ke, uh, sorry, BJD ke fold mein ja sakti hai. Baaki sabhi jaga pe zabardast badlao ki lehar. Zabardast badlao ki lehar. Lok Sabha ke liye. Abhi Lok Sabha ke liye. You know, that's the interesting yeah. point. We'll see how that this is. plays out. But this is huge. Because here is someone who's never lost an election since he entered politics in the late 1990s, was on the verge of breaking a record. We are talking about Mr. Modi achieving what only Jawaharlal Nehru has done, a hat-trick of victories. Here was probably the first chief minister since Jyoti Basu. No, who Pawan won. Chamling. As far as uh, Pawan Trivia Chamling goes, in terms of if, total if, number of years. If Naveen Patnayak serves 78 more days as chief minister. He brings, he breaks Pawan Chamling's record of being the chief minister for the longest time in the saddle. That's right. You see, you've got 25 years. We have to check with Jyoti Basu's years. But uh, the truth of the matter is, if these results hold, it's tectonic. Because what it suggests is the BJP, which was seen as a party of primarily this northwest central India, has really captured this eastern peninsula belt. And that has huge implications because then your geography, then you're truly what the Congress was in its pomp. What was the one argument, Rahul, that used to be made against the BJP? South India mein nahi hai, Eastern India mein nahi hai, it's only maxing in North and West. Now Who today, made this argument, Rajdi? This was the traditional, <laughs> every academic, it was an academic argument that yes, the Congress right. was the party of the, uh, that the no, BJP. But what would. it shows is, you try, try till you succeed. They tried and, the last time, they didn't succeed. They've and I, gone out <laughs> all guns blazing and tried again and, and succeeded this time. And I'll give you the Odisha story. There was a night, I remember early morning breaking news. Biju Janta Dal to tie up with BJP. The tie-up was done, sealed by Prime Minister Modi and Naveen Patnaik. No, no, but Guess Amit what Shah happened? and the others Amit, never wanted the, it. Amit Shah and more importantly the state unit also said we are not on board. We believe this is the right moment for us to strike out on our own and test ourselves and see if we can win the election. And if these numbers hold, they've been proven right. So you see the BJP has shown Rahul, it's a very flexible party. It's ready to tie up with the Chandra Babu Naidu who called the Prime Minister a terrorist. It's ready to tie up, uh, to break an alliance which was almost cemented by none other than the Prime Minister himself and then take on a Naveen Patnaik. It's ready to break a no, uh, tie up with an Ajit Pawar whom you call Chakki Pissing. Anything, okay. kuch bhi kare ke chunaab jitna hai. No, no, it also shows how there's no ego in this. This also has a message with what you call <laughs> so, it, the khatre ka ghanti for regional players. Absolutely. Where the BJD is yeah. concerned, where the Very TMC is concerned, where the YSR CP is concerned, for all of them. On a national BRS. scale, where do you stand? BRS. More BRS. Point is, I want to know where BSP stands now. Recently, <laughs> the commentary was that the BJP struggles against regional parties and does well against Congress. Now, in this election, it has, from Pradeep's numbers, it has decimated TMC, it has decimated uh, BJD, it YSRCP? has decimated YSRC. So, it's the Rath. It's the Rath that's... Ashwa made Yagna. That's destroying everything politically in its wake and being very tactically and strategically smart. The Puri hot seat coming up on your screen now. Sambit Patra there. He dug himself into the temple town for the last five years. And Dr. Patra would be delighted to know that there is a cool hawa blowing above his head in the temple town of Puri. He's likely to win.